Hello students, hope you are studying well. Okay, today we are going to discuss another theory of intelligence given by Robert Sternberg. We have already discussed some theories of intelligence. Now his theory is different from the previous ones, how and why. Let's see. Till now we discussed the psychometric theories of intelligence. It means we were discussing that intelligence is made up, made up of some factors. And he said that intelligence is something different. We ha they have ignored some important concepts that come under intelligence. Psychometric theories, they talked about the factors, the mental factors that come under intelligence. Mental factors are mental skills that you employ in order to accomplish any cognitive task such as G factor, like, Spe the, like Spearman talked about, Thurston's seven factors, seven primary mental abilities, Guilford's model. We have already studied that. He said that they ignored social skills, they ignored interpersonal skills, they ignored the, the, uh, the talents that underlie and that underlie something, some creative accomplishment. He ignored these kind of, uh, these, these kind of attributes. They also come under intelligence. So he took a cognitive approach to intelligence. He was an information processing theorist. Psychometrics theorists, they talk about structure of intelligence. They talked about the form. What is intelligence? What one child knows? They said your scores on an, on an intelligence test, the, the quality of your uh, the quality of your scores, like, like whether your answer is correct or incorrect, it is what is intelligence. From this we, we have come to know that this is intelligence. If you know something, he is intelligent. But he said, how can we ignore other factors? How can we ignore that if someone is practical, if someone is social, if someone is having social skills? How can we ignore these kind of attributes? How can we ignore somebody who is creative, who is no novel in his approach? We cannot ignore. This is also very important. So in this way, he was different from psychometric theorists. Psychometric theorists talked about structure of intelligence, the form. But he talked about the how we process information how we process information, how we acquire, how we retain it. So in this way, he is different. He took a cognitive approach to intelligence. This thing is very important, how he is different. Psychomatic theorists, they talked about structure. They use statistical analysis called factor analysis. But he, he was, a, he was different. He took a cognitive approach, how we process information, how we acquire, how we retain it. So in this way, he is different. Now let's study his theory in detail. His name Robert Jeffrey Sternberg. He was from America. He was well known for his theories on love, creativity and intelligence. He was born in New Jersey on December 9. This you can uh, see. He developed his very first, very important, he developed his very first intelligence test which he named the, named the Sternberg test of mental ability. These kind of questions do come in exams. Now he proposed his theory in this year and I have already described how he is different, his theory, uh, his theory he, why, how he was different from his uh, contemporaries, he, his theory was an alternative to the idea of psychometric models of intelligence. As these models were based on the premise that intelligence can be described in terms of mental factors which are general mental skills that influence mental performance in a variety of situations. Psychometric theorists talked about this. Okay, but he, he said Sternberg argued that practical intelligence and creativity, they are equally important when measuring an individual's overall intelligence. Okay, this theory takes a cognitive approach in explaining intelligence. This, this is, I have explained it to you. Now his theory is famous by the name of triarchic theory. There are three components three aspects of intelligence in his theory 
please pay attention componential experiential and contextual what are these what are what is componential what is experiential what is contextual let's study these in detail componential analytical componential intelligence is it involves the various mechanisms and mental processes underlie an intelligent behavior how you process the information okay information processing theorist he was an information processing theorist he said it deals with how each person is approaching the task how you take the task it is the individual individual's ability to process information okay he argued that very important more intelligent people focus on critical issues now intelligent people they know they know their priorities they know that this this particular task is important i have to focus right on this and this is less important i can do it later they know what what is critical they know what is important they know what to what to be done right now because of this componential because they are uh, high on this they are intelligent because they because they can focus on critical issues that need to be solved right now they select the appropriate strategies simple for processing diverse information and selectively encode combine and compare information to add to their knowledge base there are three basic kinds of information processing components meta components performance and knowledge acquisition components meta components now meta components they are higher level higher higher order executive processes try to understand you do indulge in uh, planning and decision making very simple so in your planning and decision making processes meta components they are working very simple uh, when you do planning so this is your problem and this is your goal problem and this is your goal now you plan your problem in a way like you say this is my problem and i have to reach here now what are the obstacles what are the strategies that i need to employ you make a mental map you allocate some resources you monitor and then you evaluate after the task is being accomplished this is what you all do this is done by meta components your planning and decision making in your planning and your decision making meta components are involved simple then is your performance components now performance components are lower order mental processes used to take action on the plans and decisions arrived by the meta components now they do whatever is being whatever is being directed by meta components they actually carry out the task like there are so many solutions meta components they tell us that there are these are the potential solutions for your problem now what they do they evaluate all the solutions they justify one out of them okay and they actually perform the task they actually carry out the task performance components they just they evaluate all the potential components all the potential solutions they pick one of them which they think that is appropriate and they physically make a response for example your uh, similarity test your when you compare when you contrast when you do classifications when you do inference when you do application performance components this is the difference between meta and performance components then is your knowledge acquisition components now they tell us what is the information that is that is required to accomplish any problem what information is required what knowledge is required they help us in solving this knowledge acquisition components they are lower order mental processes used to learn new information that will help us carry out the task how we will carry out our task what is the information what is the knowledge that is required by us to carry out the required task so they are called knowledge acquisition components it has three parts selective encoding selective combination and selective comparison selective encoding simple you have lots of information can you encode everything you cannot you will go crazy if there is lots of inf information that is impinging on you so what intelligent people do for example a teacher who is taking a lesson 
she's been told that see you have three months and you have to cover your syllabus in three months she has an entire syllabus and she has to cover in three months if she is intelligent what she will do she she knows ki she has to see that see this particular topics are relevant this this is not that much important she knows what she has to cover right now in three months what she can cover and what is relevant so she takes up the relevant concepts and she will leave the irrelevant concepts this is selective encoding and intelligent person works like this selective combination now selective combination what she will do what an intelligent teacher intelligent person what she will do now she will organize the concepts that are relevant in an organized way so that students can understand so that students can comprehend those concepts she present those concepts in a way that provides a coherent picture of the concepts she will not present those in a haphazard manner they will organize it in a manner intelligent teachers they will organize their concepts in a manner manner that will present a coherent picture of it this is selective combination now last is selective comparison selective com com selective comparison means relating new information to the information that is previously been known to you this is what i know this is i don't know when you see the similarities between what you don't know what you know when you relate to information this is what this is i am aware of this is i don't know when you do th when you relate this to informations this is what we mean by selective comparison for example you are aware for example uh, by analogy analogies you solve lots of your problems this comes under selective comparison analogy when you use in suppose you know you understand uh, the language hindi now when you, when you want to learn uh, no, uh, when you want to understand some other language that is somewhere related to hindi you are solving that problem you are learning that language with the help of this analogy you you see the similarities between these two things between these two languages and you try to learn other languages that are somewhere related to it you relate what you know and what you don't know this is selective comparison so this is componential and analytical aspects of intelligence given by robert jeffrey sternberg uh, students this theory is getting bit longer i will be i will be taking the other two parts of this theory in my next video please pay attention and don't ignore the other two parts